it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for keeping me company on my channel. Hey, today I wanted to bring you my review of the new Nivea Hyaluronic Cellular Filler 3-in-1 Serum Foundation. This one is brand new on the market, the Serum Foundation. I have done a review of the normal 3-in-1 makeup and also I included the cushion foundation. I am going to swatch all three of these today and compare them and then I will give you my thoughts on the entire line from Nivea. The Nivea Hyaluronic Cellular Filler Makeup 3-in-1, it is included and embedded into the normal skincare section and not in the drugstore makeup area. I can maybe understand why considering all three products in the makeup series, whether it be the cellular 3-in-1 serum, the cellular 3-in-1 makeup or the cushion foundation. Guys, this comes all in three shades. Three shades. There is a light, a medium, and a deep dunkle. So I will go ahead and just read the stats of this makeup. By the way, I have done a full review of the cellular 3-in-1 makeup. I will link it to this video. It is on my channel. I did this a couple months ago. Bear with me. I will be translating from German into English. It says this is a hyaluronic cellular filler 3-in-1 hyaluronic serum foundation. It should provide natural coverage, 12-hour moisturization, and it contains a hyaluronic acid and antioxidant complex. Further, it says this is a tinted serum formula which is supposed to melt into the skin and it is supposed to mimic and take on the skin tone. So I think in English, how do you say this? I guess this is supposed to be sort of a chameleon formula where it takes on the tone of the skin which is underneath. I assume reason why there are simply only three shades which is light, medium and deep. Further it says this contains avocado oil and squalene. I think in English this is squalene which is supposed to provide the skin with 12-hour moisture. This serum contains an effective anti-aging complex of hyaluronic acid and antioxidants, which is supposed to alleviate fine lines and wrinkles. And the skin is supposed to appear younger and it is also supposed to look more vibrant. So this is the color deep and this is the serum foundation. It does look a lot lighter than the three-in-one makeup. The makeup comes like this. It has a pipette. It's actually quite cute packaging. So I will go ahead and take a drop and put it on my hand. This is what the color looks like. It's very runny, it's a serum. And I will go ahead and rub this on 
my hand to see if it mimics my skin tone. Right off the bat, it looks a bit very light. So I will keep rubbing it. After having worked this into my skin, it looks like this. It does somewhat take on the color of the skin, but honestly, I am not sure how many skin tones darker than my skin tone this will work for. With the three in one makeup, it did go on a bit ashy, but after some minutes, it did adjust to my skin tone. So let's see if this happens here on the hands. It does seem to work. This is the three in one makeup. This is the way it looks when swatched. This is the serum foundation and this is the cushion foundation. So the Nivea Cellular 3-in-1, this is the 3-in-1 makeup, the 3-in-1 serum foundation, and the 3-in-1 cushion foundation. Okay guys, I am going to be brave and apply this to my face. I will also be using the Nivea Cellular 3-in-1 concealer, which also goes with this line. I do like it and enjoyed using this the last time. I will apply one side with the hands and the other side with a brush, which mimics the fingers. This is more for serums and the like. Mm. It looks a bit crazy huh, upon application, but we will see. I do not like applying this with the hands, so I will go ahead and use the brush. By the way, it does feel a lot more like skincare than makeup. I think I did add probably a bit too much. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the completed application. I don't think they lied when they said it's a natural finish. It does not cover much. This is more of a light serum. So I will go ahead and apply the concealer and we will wait to see if this adjusts to my skin tone. This is the concealer. It is a pen. Also, I have this in dark. I also have a full review of this in the video with the three-in-one makeup linked to this video. I do like this concealer. It's very moisturizing and it really just disappears on the, the eye area. <laughs> when it goes on, it's very light and you might feel like Casper, but it does disappear into the skin. Yeah, this is more like skincare. This is, um, it also feels very nice. Okay, guys, I have given this about three minutes to uh, adjust to my skin tone. It has gotten a bit better, but there is still a little bit of an ashy, I would say, tint to it. Honestly, for me, this is really skincare and probably reason why it is sold in the skincare section. It does not cover much of my imperfections. For me, this is not really makeup. 
this is more of a very light uh, tinted moisturizer for those with perfect skin this would probably be awesome guys in terms of shade matching this is very poor for my skin tone after allowing this to adjust it still does have a bit of an ashy touch if i were to add a bronzer and maybe a powder on top it would work fine definitely they need to have at least i would say two more shades after this one i would feel a bit self-conscious just wearing this without a bit of bronzer to bring it up if you are looking for a makeup this is not it i am not very happy with this one i do like the three in one cellular makeup a lot better it covered my imperfections when comparing the video of the two products this one was definitely a better product for me this one also adjusted a lot better to my skin tone the three in one makeup well guys this is the finished look i just went ahead i added my blush from uh, max factor this is the face finity blush in stunning sienna and then the l'oreal uh, exuberant uh, color rich nude intense lipstick okay guys this is it for this one for me this is not such a great product i mean i would have preferred this in one shade deeper when i add blush and maybe a little bit of powder it will work but it is not only the color for me this is skincare it does not cover much of my issues well so if you are lucky enough that one of the three shades that nevia does provide works for you and you are also just looking for skincare with a bit of a tint this might be one to pick up however if you are a woman of color and you are looking for a tinted moisturizer which will match your skin tone this is definitely not the one even though it says it is supposed to adjust to the skin tone for darker skin tones this is definitely not going to work <laughs> well guys this is it take care visit me again please remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video ciao